Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning line on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the static keyword in C++. In C++, we can use this static inside a function as a class member and also as a class member function. So we're gonna see all that things in detail. All right, the first thing that I want you guys to teach you is about using static inside a function. So when we use static with a variable inside a function, what happens is that variable will be available through the function calls. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a function called display and uh, inside this function, you're going to create a static variable. To create a static variable, we need to use a keyword static and then the variable name, let's say int counter. So so what we're going to do here is we're going to print out how many times this display function is called. So first we're going to initialize this one to a value of 0 here. And then I'm going to display using the cout. And I'm going to say display function called. And I'm going to refer our counter variable. Again I'm going to say times. And let's end this line. All right, now we have a function called display. Inside of this display function, we have declared an static variable and we're just printing how many times this function is called. So here in my main function, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the display function. And also one more thing, we need to increment this counter value. Otherwise, you know, the value will be always zero. So I'm gonna write plus plus counter you know which is equal to counter equal to counter plus one and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this now okay we need to do the function prototyping so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it here above and uh, save it build and run it again and it says display function called one times now i'm gonna call this display function more times so i'm gonna copy it and paste it all right save it build and run this so now you guys can see display function called one time, two times, three times, four times. So what happened here is this line where we have initialized this static variable will be executed only one. In other words, you know, this line will be executed when we call this display function at the first time. And the next time, you know, since this is a static variable, this counter will be stored in the heap. It is available between the function calls. So when this display is called in a second time or the third time or the fourth time, you know, this statement will not be executed. And here this counter will be pointed, pointed to the variable which is stored in the heap. You know, whatever the value stored in that variable will be incremented because of this plus plus. All right. The next thing that I want you guys to teach you is using the static keyword inside the class as class members and also as class member functions. All right, now we're gonna see how to use this static inside a class as a class member and as a class member function. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, we're gonna create a class called humans. And in this program that we're gonna build, we're gonna store, you know, how many humans are created. So let's begin. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna define a class and let me call it as human. And inside this class, let's have a public access specifier. And here we're going to create a static variable. So to create a static variable, we need to use the keyword static and then the data type. It's going to be int and the name. So let's say human count. All right. Now we have a static variable. So the first thing is when we create a static variable in our class as a class member, you know, this variable will be shared between all the objects of this class in other words this human count or this static member of a class has class scope so no matter how many objects we create of this class you know there will be only one copy of this static member variable human count all right the next thing is you know you can't initialize this static class member inside the that class or in in the definition of that class you need to do it outside so make sure to initialize all the static class members in your program before creating the objects of that class so the next thing is you know where 
and how to access you know the static class member so here uh, if you want to access this outside the class what you need to do is you need to write the data type it's gonna be int and then the class name human and then we need to use the scope resolution operator and then the variable name human count and we can initialize that here using the assignment operator and the next thing is since this static class member has class scope you know we can access this value without creating an object so here just for the demonstration purpose i'm gonna access that so to do that i'm gonna write c out and it's gonna be human the class name the scope resolution operator and then the variable name i'm gonna build and run this you guys can see we can access that without creating any object and the next thing is how to use this static member variable inside the member functions so we can use this variable inside this class member function just like the way we were using any other variables or any other class members so here just for the demonstration purpose what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a function let's call it as human total and this function is gonna display you know how many humans are present in our program so it's gonna be there are and then i'm gonna refer this human count so it's gonna be human underscore count you know just like the way we were using any other class variables peoples are in this program all right now let's end this line and add the semicolon all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a constructor so to do that we need to use the class name human and then no parameters and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna in increment the value of this human count so it's gonna be human count plus plus all right now uh, in our main function we're gonna create an object so first you know after this see our statement and before that let me end this line all right now I'm gonna create an object so it's gonna be human and let me call it as anil and then I'm gonna call this human total function using the object anil human total and uh, after that I'm gonna copy this statement see out and paste it again all right now I'm gonna build and run this program so now you guys can see first we had zero that's because of this initialization and then it says there are one people in this program and that is from this human total function so when we create an object you know whatever the value of this human count variable which was previously zero was incremented and it became one and that's why it printed there are one people in this program and then we printed that using the class name and then the scope resolution operator and we got the same value so similarly if i close this and create any other objects let's say human anjali and uh, human let's say rashmit and the human sandeep now if i build and run this we get you know there are four people in this program that's because you know when we create this object you know the value of this variable is incremented and since there will there is only one copy of this variable for all the objects that we create you know you know that change will be reflected through all the objects so that's why you know when we access that using this anil you know we get there are four peoples in this program so when we use a static class member in our program all the objects that are created from that class are gonna share that particular static class member and there will be only one copy of that variable and uh, you know if we change that value using any object then that change will be reflected through all other objects so in the next tutorial we can learn about the static member functions and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial